guys and welcome to the bakery and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Danish pastries. Anyway, we've we'll got with a video. Right, for the bun dough, what you need is a pound of flour, just ordinary baker's flour, uh, two ounces of caster sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon full of vitamin C. Eight ounces of milk, two ounces of egg, and two ounces of fat, which this is actually white shortening. You can, it's a, a product you can actually buy in the shop. It's called Trek, um, but I prefer to use this one for this particular recipe. And also then, obviously the baker's yeast, which is two ounces. Right, and what we do, we put the flour into the bowl, followed by the yeast with the fat. And we just mix this around a bit. Like that. Now pop in your milk, your eggs, your salt, and your vitamin C, all in, not forgetting your sugar. Just mix it all round like that with your hook. You can do this by hand if you wish, but uh, I don't see the point of doing it by hand if you've got a machine. Right, that's like that. We'll just pop it onto the machine. You want to be mixing this for 10 minutes. You may need to add a bit more flour to it. Depends on the type of flour you've got. Because some supermarket flours are better than other supermarket flours. Now you want to knock onto second speed for one minute. Just give it a straight down. That's ready. And now we'll put it on the table. Hello. That's it, and all we do then, mold it up, and that's it. Right guys, now we'll get on with the Danish. For the Danish, you want eight ounces of butter, or a combination of lard and margarine or alternatively, you can use butter and shortening mix. And what it wants to be, it wants to be in, it wants to feel like a putty. So if your butter is a bit soft, pop it in the fridge. 
You want to make it like a putty. Anyway, we'll carry on. Want to make it into an oblong shape. Then split it into three, like that. Then two parts, you're going to put the butter on. Just squeeze it in your hand like this. It wants to feel like a putty or plasticine. got any bits, you want to make it fairly even-ish. Like that. Then you fold this part over. And then you part, fold this piece over. Put a bit of flour down. On the top. And then we're going to give this one roll out. So it's straight up, so you're making it, again, an oblong shape. Like that. Then we fold this piece over. Just use a brush, don't want too much flour under it. And this piece over. Right, and that's classified as one turn. So you put that on the side, get a bit of flour, or mark it and say, number one. And we'll come back in five minutes, and that's all you need to do. Well, that's five minutes now. Stage two. Again, roll it out. If you find it's moving a bit quick, Always pop it in the fridge. Again, you fold it again. And this time, you put it down. Mark it number two. Leave that for five minutes and we'll then do number three. Right, and this is number three. Final stage, now we're going to all roll it all out. Rolling down to about four mil. Give or take. No need to rush it, but like, as you're rolling it, just keep it sort of slowly pushing down gently on the rolling pin. And you'll feel the dough will slowly go out. Obviously, your worktop will be about that wide. I've got that much, so. I'll move this way, and you can see Again, as you're going along, you're slowly pushing down on the rolling pin, not too much. And every so often, just give it a shake so it comes back. And if you think it's getting a bit sticky underneath, pop some flour under. As 
so far. You can see my little technique I use with the hand. like a little pie or something. It's not puff pastry, but you can do the same thing. Break them up. Just make sure there's no flour on them. With egg or with water, I prefer water, just spray the middles. Now half of these and for this, all you need to do now is just fold the two corners in like that. That's on half of them. This is really a pretty basic Danish pastry. And with these ones, just fold them in corner to corner. attention. There we go. Alright, and now we'll just trade them up. Obviously you'll probably be using two small trays. Because this one big tray, yours trays will be about that size. So they'll fit your smaller oven. And now we're going to get them into the prover. In one of my videos, I'm going to show you how to make a small prover for your house. It's very simple and easy to do. Right, next stage, guys. The Danish is now proved up, and what you do with your fingers, you just pop them in the middle, just drop them down, like this. So you're sort of pressing them down to the tray, in the middle, like that. And the next stage is pie filling, or you can put whatever you like in your you know, whatever you choose. Um, I'm doing today four of each. Uh, so, four apple, four cherry, and four raspberry. Even at home, I've heard of people putting red 
jam into apple. And I always say, don't put your hands into buckets of pie filling. Unless you're using the whole lot in one go. Right, we'll get the Danish in. This oven is actually 400 Fahrenheit, so uh, I would expect the Danish to take around about 10 minutes. Right guys, the Danish is ready. As soon as they come out of the oven, Get yourself some apricot jam and just go round them over the top. Like that. And there you go guys, and that's as simple as that. And all this is, is a fondant in here, but you can use uh, icing and water, same type of thing, uh, fondant's a little bit more extreme. I will be doing a video later on uh, regarding fondant and how to make it. And other than those odd little things that you see me using that you might not be able to buy in the supermarket. Hi right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe and do share. Uh, this is just one of a small number of home bakers videos I've done. Uh, there is more coming along. Uh, the recipe is down below. And we'll see you again. Laters! <laughs>